All right, take these off. Take these off now. Off, 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 off. All right, we got another. We got our wrist done. Yeah. Once I would have heard him do that, I would have backed up. Holy shit. Ooh. This is your boy LSG Melly, and I'm bringing you guys The Walking Dead. Yo, arguably one of the best zombie adventure games. Decision based. Yo, this game ranks in a lot of top categories. I haven't played this game in years, but I wanted to relive a GOAT. Now, I do know that these episodes are about an hour apiece, so make sure you guys go use the bathroom. That is one of the things I can say. Go make sure your bladder is empty. Make sure you got snacks. Make sure you, like, if you're watching this at night, make sure you say goodnight to everybody because you about to be busy. Make sure everything is taken care of before you watch this video because we have a long episode ahead of us. That is something I can confirm. Now, without further ado, we're about to get into this thing. If you guys are liking the content, please like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you can see when I drop part two. Of this goat of a game this is about to be fun it's about to be great legendary all right now lsg i'll see you guys in my next video in my next video i'll see you guys in the gameplay the game series adapts to the choices you make the story is tale about how you play telltale games presents <laughs> i'm so excited <laughs> In association with Skybound Entertainment. Whoa, this is way too loud. The Walking Dead. Oh, oh I am so ill. I haven't played this game in years, bro. Episode one, a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new generation. If you guys watch wrestling, yeah, know, yeah, know, yeah, know. Look at the homeboy Lee. Oh. Oh, my boy need a haircut, but it's all right. Uh, back in the back of a cop car. Man, this brings me back. This brings me back, man. Oh boy. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. You know what they say about reckoning? Does it really matter? I have nothing to really say to you, bro. Hmm. Silence is a valid option. Nice. Nope, definitely not. I don't think I choose that. No, I, I don't think I chose that. Down to this prison. Wait. We need subtitles. Now right, we got Just subtitles. About now, I get the I didn't do it. And what do you say? Not from me every time. Stay quiet. Stay quiet, stay quiet. Hmm, but you don't talk too much, do you? What is there to really say? I'm in the back of your car, gang. Uh, like, you arrested me. I don't talk until I see my lawyer. I followed your case a little bit. You being a Macon boy and all. You're from Macon then. So you've got an opinion. What you think? Oh, you're from Macon. You're from Macon. Yep, came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case, like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be raging. That cop is in a hurry. Drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Why is your nose so red? Good. Didn't I, didn't I put subtitles on? Oh, I have to apply it. Ugh, I don't like that. All right, we got subtitles now. Yeah, but why is this guy's nose so red? Was you doing a line or did somebody punch you in the face? I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a sixth year. 
You meet your wife in Athens? Hmm. You want to know how I see it? Sure. What you got to sure. say, bro? <laughs> Why? <are> you... <laughs> Why are you? Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. So we got fuck you or she married the wrong guy nah nothing i have nothing anything they say anything you say and do will be used against you in a court of law so it's best not to talk much until you see a lawyer there's a lot of commotion going on behind us and yeah looking crazy bro i'm driving this man once he he was the worst one he wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops and haven't exhausted all it. I'm looking at the top of my forehead. All right, so this is not sweat, y'all. This is oil. I just got out the shower and I oiled my scalp, and some of the oil is starting to seep down onto my forehead. Can you shut the fuck up? His options. He starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't. Uh, so did he do it? Do it. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car, screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Innocent until it proven guilty. Show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more. Yo! If I do say so. Yo! Fucking this other time. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Fucking drive! I couldn't help but use that option. Oh, it's a little loud. Fucking drive. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah. Why the first thing you say when you wake up is that you're thirsty? But it's crazy because like with with all that commotion like and me being tied up, I couldn't like I couldn't embrace myself because my hands are constricted. Hey! Hey officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here. Officer look dead. You might as well stop calling out for him. Why the hell did he have his gun out? A lot going on, bro. We got to get out. We got to get out. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. Nah, he looked like he... He's not moving. He looked like he got out and something happened to homeboy. Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. All right. All right, let's... Oh, oh yeah, we out. Yes, sir. We out. I need to drag myself out that window. We out. We out. I need to drag myself out that window. Think. Oh, I gotta move. Duh. Duh, Mel. Ooh. 
use a left stick to move along the car. Get that shotgun. Get it. Get it now. Uh, pick it up. Oh, uh, you hear his bones cracking? Bones cracking. That sounds crazy. Carry with these cuffs off. All right, so I reckon. Ooh, a shotgun shell. I reckon we're gonna have to go get the key from this poor fella. Officer, God damn. My family's actually from the south, y'all. So I'm not making fun of like accents and stuff. Like my family is actually from the south, Officer. Alabama. Now I know you guys got jokes. Oh, Alabama people, y'all, y'all, y'all do, y'all being all types of crap and incest and listen, I wasn't born in Alabama. I was born here in New York, but you know, that's just my family's, you know, Shit. origin. I, I assume. Huh. All right, take these off, take these off now. Off, 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 off. All right, we got another, we got our wrist done. Yeah. Once I would have heard him do that, I would have backed up. Holy shit! Ooh! What in the hell? No. Shotgun, please. Get, away from me. Get it. Oh, you! S you. Get the. Get it. Hey, no, no, not don't make me do this. Boom. Boom. Here comes the boom. Ready or not. Yeah. Back up, little dude. Why you threw the shotgun down? Because, like, you, you've killed before. You know what it's like. Don't act like you're so shocked. Help! Go get someone. There's been a shooting. I remember that iconic person, Clementine. Like I said, y'all, I have played this years ago. It's just a lot that I don't remember about the game. But I do remember Clementine. He did all this with one good leg, I will never know. Well, they heard shooting from another another direction. It's crazy how like real humans, like conscious humans, Hello? we hear a shooting. Anybody? We hear a shooting and we run away from it. But they, on the other hand, they go toward the danger. They be like, what's up danger? Like, what's up danger? Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. You were just getting ready to get arrested and as soon as you're free, you're thinking about getting drunk. Anybody up there? Yeah, I heard a double voice. Hello? Anybody in there? No, sir. All right. 
Look at the limp. My man's leg is messed up. And I think his leg is messed up for the majority of this game. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think his leg ever fully heals because he's constantly got to move around on it. So. Hello. Anybody home? I need a little help. This is bringing back so many memories now. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Don't shoot, okay? Ah. Hello? I'm not an intruder. You? Or one of them. You are a black man entering someone's home These people might need more help without an invitation. The first thing they're thinking about is to shoot. You think you saying don't shoot is gonna change something? Oh. Yo, yo, get, get up. <laughs> Bro, get up. Oh, all right, we got him. We got. The Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Okay, good observation. Good observation, my boy. He didn't even talk into it. He just pocketed it. All right. Nothing really of use here. Oh, yeah. You was thirsty, right? Drink that cup of water. Ah. All right. My boy has been refreshed. He got some nourishment. You said, what's that beeping? You never heard of a voicemail on a house phone? I know now in 2024, house phones are becoming extinct because we have cell phones. And it's like, if you want to reach me, just use this my cell phone. There are three just about messages. anything worthwhile is gone. If you want to use like house phone. See, I still have a house phone, but that's only because I've this is the same house phone I've been having since like 20 early, early 2010. I've had this house phone that I have now for years. So that's why I have it. But, um, I know most houses now do not have a house phone. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Yeah, my boy got so folded. I'm after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my God, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 9 one We love you. We love you. We love you. Damn, bro. Imagine being a child during this time when everything starts to pop off. Daddy? Daddy. Hello? You need to be quiet. What? Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not.
We've seen Clementine, but where did she go? Where are your parents? Yeah, where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are, where are you? you? I'm outside in my tree house. They can't get in. That's smart. Ah. See? Can you see me? So she I was up. You through the window. She was up there. Oh! Come now. Oh. Are you dead too? Are you dead too is crazy. All right. Okay. Yeah. How you slip on the same blood you slipped on the first time? Ugh, hold on. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Okay. Yeah, off. Oh. Yeah. Hold it. Yeah. Yeah. Hit her again. Yeah. Hit her again. Uh, hit her again. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. <sighs> Hi there. Now that I think about it. Did you kill it? Mm, uh, uh, yes. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. Now that I think about it. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. Think about. I think that might be a little while. You know. Oh. Your parents are uh, dead, Clementine. I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. Hey. Oh, what should we do now? Taking on a father role already. Let's get it. Look for help before it gets dark. Get out of here once the sun goes down. No. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Wait until the sun goes down. We're going to make it light up. Let's yeah, we're not doing that. Stay close to me. But now that I think about it, like I was saying, um, think about all the people that stumbled upon this house and broke in. And Clementine is just up in her tree house safe. That's why the place was ransacked, because a lot of strangers probably then came here and ransacked the house. And... Somebody probably done killed the babysitter. Cause how did the babysitter die? Unless she offed herself, how did she die? All right, go to the gate. How do you walk faster? I know there's an option. I know there's a way to walk faster. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Yes, sir. Let's go help. We do not want no trouble, y'all. Do not shoot. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? They won't. Let's go. I won't leave you I alone. Won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close. Okay. She's a kid, a so idea. you know you gotta like be reassuring. Don't, especially cause like you just met this girl. Do not be a brute off the rip. Like that's kind of hey, crazy. Holy shit! Don't eat us. We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. 
<sighs> Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Our babysitter, a neighbor, just some guy. A good Samaritan. Yeah, a good Samaritan. Sean drew his own conclusion. Yeah, that, that's the best safe. option. A good Samaritan. Those options that they gave me were trash. She don't want to leave, but we have to. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. All right, let's do it, bro. Why the biggest dude not even helping, bro? What are you looking at? Help! How you got the kid helping? You come help! What is going on here? Oh, nah. Those guys, not good Samaritans. Duh. Bro, how the biggest guy out of the group is not helping, like, push the car? Are you, are you insane? This is crazy, bro. I know Clementine didn't want to leave, but her best option was to come with me because it's only so long before. Well, I don't know how smart these zombies are, but it was only going to be so long before they start learning how to climb trees. And Clementine hey, Sean, is out of I'm here. Run on home. My mom is going to be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. It wasn't nice to meet you. You didn't even help move the cars out the way. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. And us, and us. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then. Why you say that? Oh, not his daughter. He's a good Samaritan. Honey, do you know this man? Yo! Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Why did she, why did he stoop down to ask Let's her did I know her, like? Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what yeah, it sounds like. Here. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? I didn't. I didn't. Well, now's the time. Herschel will remember that. It's Lee. I don't nice care. You, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. I never said what my name was. How'd this happen? Car accident. Yeah. Car accident. That's so where are you headed? Herschel oh, made cars. note of that. But it's it's facts. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl? No. I'm gonna tell him the truth. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. He got a lot of now shade to him. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. It's not my I daughter. What's your name, darling? Clem 
Clementine. Now my daughter. I can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. Yeah, he's right, yeah. This place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, Are you I'm sure? Serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. A girl with a... I got chased by a couple yeah. of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. See, he don't know. He don't know how bad it is. Or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. See. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. See. Okay, that'd be preferable. He doesn't think it. Such in the barn. He doesn't think it gets that bad here. But homeboy's talking about if my leg don't get better, he'd have to shoot me. So he understands that it's crazy, or unless he's racist. I don't know, maybe a little bit of both. But my whole thing is, if you really are trying to act like it's not that bad, why are you talking about you gotta shoot me? Is that a sick joke? We ain't joking with you, I just met you. Don't play with me like that. Yo, Lee, did you get another bullet to that shotgun? <laughs> Cause yo, being around this dude, you might need it. You might we'll need it. You bright and early. Might need it. Which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right then. All right then. He name is <laughs> just the end of that conversation. It smells like manure. We're not gonna curse around the girl. Manure. manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Yeah. I'm a dad now, so I, my mom I learned to dad. not curse so much around my child. I, bet, I don't curse around him at all, but how far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I don't curse around my kid at all. That's something you learn when you become a parent. You gotta start turning tuning down the cussing that's why if you probably a lot of you guys watched my earlier videos i was cussing a lot as opposed to now is because of what i've learned Whew. man that's had a nightmare about what he just went through did he kill his wife did he kill his wife hey get up who are you? Don't tell me to just get up like that. I don't know you, dog. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, Not a dad. Babe's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. I hate that get kid. Going or we won't hear the end of it. I hate that kid. That's my boy, Ken Jr. I don't necessarily remember why I hate this kid, but I don't like this kid, and for good reason. I call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Oh, wow. But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. I swear, southern people have the craziest Word is, you were names, the way to make it. like things, why they name that. things the way now, they do. Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Oh, thanks. Sure, we'll tag along. Maybe let's see how Maybe. things... We'll yeah. see how things shake up with this Herschel guy. Yeah, because I don't know you. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. 
Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. I don't like Duck, but I can't remember why I don't like him, bro. Why don't I like Duck? Why don't I like Duck? It has to be a reason, bro. Wait, what's homeboy name again? Kenny. Seems like an all right dude. All right. I don't remember why. Like, all right. So because I don't remember why I don't like Duck, I'm going to cut him some slack until I remember why I don't like him. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Nice job. Nice job. Hey, Lee. Need a hand. That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Copy. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No. He don't. He, doesn't. he really don't. He I saw really a guy don't. Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? Yeah. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. More than likely, that's what fall, like happened. You Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Yo, hell yeah. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Sean won't Dad just forget wants to that. Keep the family safe and thinks and bring people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. He's seen what is exactly what yours? I've seen. How's your family? My parents are in Macon with my brother. I don't know where's my brother uh, and parents are in Macon. I hope. No oh, man, I hope so too. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Duck, I'm not gonna lie. I did say I was gonna be nice to you, but I really don't like you. Why don't I like you though? He, I, he's gonna, he's gonna help me remember why I don't like him. Hey Lee. Still need a hand? That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. All right, so I'm not talking to this little yeah for right now. We're gonna what's in what's in here? We slept in here. Oh, we can't go no further than that. All right, bet that bet, bet, bet. All right, let's talk to Ken. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. What are you even Do you doing? Need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Did he have kids? Uh... Nah, nah. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. Can he learn something about you? Nice. How's your son doing? Good, I think. I pressed Tachi's X, not A. Up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and Christ, just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's, but we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. You showed an interest in his family. I didn't care about Duck. I just, like, I, I didn't even press A. I pressed X, but, you know, I got, you know, my thumb is kind of big, so. You know. Hey there. Hey. See you. That's it. All right. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. All right. Let's go talk with the. Uh... Let's talk with these two. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. 
Um, do you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that? Lee, the young woman can take care of herself. Yeah, okay. I understand that. It was just a question, man. But, you know, you seem pretty trustworthy, so I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Why you looked at me like that? What's up? We got beef. Out of Atlanta? We got beef. I was on my way out. I got a ride on foot. I was on my way out anyway. Yeah. The timing of all this just happened to be right. <laughs> if there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? Hmm. No family, no wife anymore. My parents are in Macon. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. I was looking for... I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Okay. Herschel's either racist or... Can I give you a piece of advice? He's either racist or he just... I don't know, bro. What is it? Yeah, that's the song. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, what? keep it to your damn self. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. You had an attitude first, homeboy. I'm just matching the energy, you dig? I'm matching that energy. Kid, help the kid, help the kid. All right, get the get the other guy, get the other guy. Did he just ran run away? Done for. But you said it wasn't that bad, huh? Look at you. Now you have no son. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you. You didn't even try to help. Yeah, I thought I could help Bob. I was worried about the little boy. I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. I'm only one person. Get out and never come back. It doesn't get like that out here. It don't get like that out here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You do what you need to do, baby. Yeah. I already said, okay. See, that's what happens when you don't listen. And when you want to judge me, you want to judge me, but I actually came to the rescue. I'm pretty sure you heard the same commotion I did. And where were you? Still back there. 
<laughs> let me make sure my hay. Let me see. Let me make sure the haystack is good. Look, now your son is dead. Your son wouldn't have been dead had you fortified the fence. It don't get like that out here, Goofy. Now you gotta live with that. Don't blame me. Don't find someone to blame. At least I came to the rescue. <laughs> Clementine is alright. Clementine is alright. Duck is alright. You know, the fathers came to their to their children's rescue. Even though I'm not Clementine's father, we came to the rescue. But you want to still worry about your hay. And you want to get the shotgun later. Now your son is dead. Now that's something you got to think about. Side though, we'll leave. We'll leave. Side. No words need to be spoken. Let's just leave. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Thanks, bud. We'll be out. Thanks, Kenny. Screw her shoe. Go mourn. Y'all gonna need them. Y'all gonna need all that mourning time y'all can. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Friendly trucks run out of gas. Oh, I, fuck. I remembered why I don't like duck because of what he just did to um, the, the, the board. Finally, people with guns. Yeah. We oh. can't take risks like this, and we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. Who are you? We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Could Worse, be dangerous. Why? Right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. We're not dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. Yeah. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb kid. Okay. kid. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. Yeah. Oh, damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a fuck. Right, let's calm it down. Let's calm it down. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Lily noticed what you said. One of them is bitten. He, uh, he wasn't he, bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We he wasn't bit. This now, over my dead body. At least I don't think he was. We'll dig one hole. No, oh. I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Whoa. What do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. It's him or Duck? You need to calm. No, let's talk. Talk it's that talk. Him or your son? Yeah. I say it's him. Yeah. Out on his ass with those things. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody's doing anything. Shut up, Lily. 
And you, shut the fuck up. Oh. They will find <laughs> us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. If it was your girl. It. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Oh, yeah. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not what? the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Wow. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then there'll be three. Okay. Then we deal with it then. But right now we're just freaking everybody out. And get ready to deal with it because Kenny will remember your loyalty. Out. Yeah, I got your back, buddy. And we're tossing them out now. You're right. Let him hit him. Kenny, stop him. No, stop him. No, you don't touch that boy. Yeah. You don't touch anybody. Ah. Uh -huh. I've got a little girl. I'm trying to protect in here too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on. You better have a plan to kill me though, because it's me before anyone else in here. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Lee, you were doing so good. Why are you falling on the floor, bro? Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who shot him? Who shot? Who shot? The girl, right? Yeah. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys. Clem will remember you protected her. Of course I will, Clem. You a goat. I gotta get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. Oh. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Shut up! Die! I told him to calm down. What's wrong with him? Was he bitten? Yeah, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Through the office. We'll do it somehow. Okay. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep Lee. an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. <laughs> I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. Oh, I remember You're something. Right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. That'd be great. You're insane. You know your way around town? You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna uh, do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. We didn't ask Keep about his name. On him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. 
It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Larry. We didn't ask his name. But uh, the other dude, Doug, I really did not notice him. He's so unnoticeable because he didn't really talk much. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Uh, I don't care about Lily. We're gonna talk to Lily anyway. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily, my dad's Larry. We still didn't ask. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad that didn't help. Your dad started with us. What's wrong with him? You're from here. What do you think about all of this? What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Uh, what you're, you're from, from here? here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane. Okay, a little flirty. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got the pharmacy? What do you think about all of this? Uh, let's 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 ask about the pharmacy. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. <sighs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Be honest. Yeah. The owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Damn. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. We're not even going to talk about his temper. We're just going to dip. I'm going to get back to him. Sounds good. All right. How do we get inside the place? Alive inside. Not no more. That was his family. No. First aid. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Yeah. Parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector. Damn, bro. Uh, let's talk to Clementine. It was, it was kind of mean to her earlier, and I apologize about that. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah. I <laughs> Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. All right. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. And what's right here? Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? 
Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Guard dogs. My dad gave it to me. <laughs> yeah, just smart like that. Guard dogs are so easy to manipulate. All you got to do with guard dogs is just wave a piece of meat in front of them and they completely forget to protect the premises. Like guard dogs, like they're good, but if the criminal is smart enough to feed them a piece of meat, you're cooked. Your establishment is cooked. You're probably cooked. It's cr like, it's so crazy how easy dogs are manipulated by just pieces of meat because they be hungry. Like, insane. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. How are you doing? You don't need anything, right? You don't need anything, right? No, I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? No kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies. My friend Alfred has peanut allergy. But you cool? Who's Alfred? I think so. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Uh, let's just move this thing. Let's not talk about that. What do your parents do? Let's just, uh, yeah. Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. You didn't tell your parents you didn't like soccer? Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Uh, I wouldn't blame them because they're dead. I hope not. It's just, let's just be honest with her. Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. It's okay, Clem. I'm just sorry for being mean. You're not. You wasn't. Look, you wasn't, little one. Gone and I just wish things would have been different. You wasn't. Trust me. You're yeah. fine. All right. I got in some trouble, but keep that between us. I'm not a bad guy. Let's tell her the truth. I, uh, I, I got into a fight once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. Oh! How'd okay? that? How'd I that? Hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? How'd that happen? A little. I'll find you a bandage. The first aid kit. Let's wrap it. Let's have a look at that finger. Now. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered. Bandage. Yes, please. Nice. All right, let's go through this door. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. The keys. Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us. Lee? I don't think they will. They'll find us. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie talkie in case they try that way. Stay close See? to me until then. Okay? Just, just think like that, all right? Your parents are more than, more than likely dead, but uh. <laughs> Yeah. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. 
Let's try. Oh, the, I didn't. I don't know why I didn't check the drawer yet. You opened the drawer to look up to my dad's TV. Turn it on. That's what I figured. Uh. Door to pharmacy. It's All right, well, we already tried that. We need to track down All the right. keys if we're gonna help Larry. Where would the keys even be? Have you heard from Grant? Everyone seems okay to you. How's your finger? I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. We might have to go back outside then. Uh, anything else in the first aid kit before we dip out? Luckily, there's nothing I need. Okay, here. cool. All right, we got to go back outside then. <sighs> What's this? What the hell do we pick up? What is that? Snickers? It's not damaged. This place didn't get looted. Ah, right, we checked that already. All right. Looks Food like box. nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Now let's talk to uh. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Yes, sir. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Copy that. I did want to talk to you, though. Well, we're gonna give she says she was hungry so it's not much but here you go thank you of course you took care of clementine of course i will she's my daughter bro she's not she's not my daughter by blood but she's my daughter you're a pretty good shot well you don't fuck with a reporter especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee what are you working on uh what are you messing around with there a radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Okay. It needs a battery. Of but course it does. This thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No, she didn't know that. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Bro, so you learned how to use a gun before a battery. Nice. Hey, Carly. Okay, you handle yourself well. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. Let's just get the dialogue out the way. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but you know. Yeah. All right, let's go. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go do this. Oh. 
man's had a varsity jacket on, but where did his hair go? So when you turn into a zombie, your hair just falls out? What's going on? Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen. I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her. With or without you. Think about if it was you. Uh, Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. He's saving her with or without me. Why is he so adamant about that? Like, does this man really like... Does he know her? Or what's going on? Like, why is he so mad? He's really mad about that. Alright. She's eating something. Alright, get down. So we got that one right there, close. Let's go over here. Let's look at there's anything in the pickup. So check. Ooh, no, we're not going to break the window. Bro, I said no. We can do something with that car, I bet. Went for that fellow lurking near the front. So what are we going to do? We gotta break the window. Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. So what do you suggest, my boy? You need to find a weapon. All right, so we gotta go back the other way then, because I don't see how else we're gonna get over there or get anything done. Everything right now is making noise. Ooh, a pillow. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Shut up. All right, so don't look that way. Go back this way. Like, let let the leader do his thing, bro. I'm the certified leader right now. All right, homie. Yeah. Get out your gun. It's already out. Stay right Lee, it was the gun was already out. What are you talking about? Yeah. Oh, that was sick. Be not too worried. Nice. We did our thing. We did our thing. We did our thing. Oh, the car's on something. Bro, get the thing. Wait, matter of fact, it's probably in park. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. A spark plug? It's You should hold on to that. Keep it coming handy. It's a sparky thing. Is that what you really called it? Aha! 
Professor. Oh, they don't see us. They don't see us. Keep doing our thing. Oh, spark plug? Wait. Let me see the spark plug. How do we get back here? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. All right, we got everything over here. All right, back over here. Now we're going to kill that zombie over here. Press the button. What happened? We're gonna try that again. Right? Yeah. Ah. All right. We're gonna kill homie over here. I'll wait for him to get closer. All right, he's in striking distance. Again. Why the music get so crazy? Oh, let's go. Oh, we lost the we lost it. Get it back. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Huh. Oh, stairs. I don't know why I didn't see that first. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Where'd the pillow go? Wasn't the pillow like a like a pivotal thing we needed? Okay. Uh huh. Come on, come on. A bada bada, a bada bada swing. I got to just do my thing. A bada bada, a bada bada swing. Yeah. He right. topped his head off. I'll show you that is one in the same baseball dance in the same game. It is a I don't want to get copyrighted. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. I'm We've with got a group in town. No, no, no. I'm with Carly. She's Let's go. Miss, we're coming in. I'm with Carly on this. I would have left. Like the zombies aren't smart enough to board themselves in there. She obviously did that. So what are you going in there for? Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. Oh. oh god i i said stay away she's bit you help it's too late for that guys she's been bitten what i told you i said go away i'm bit but you wouldn't just leave let's calm down you could be fine i won't be fine my boyfriend was bitten you get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find so her boyfriend you have a boyfriend when i don't want
out of everything she said, that's the only thing you cared about. You were in this position because of you anyway. We're potentially about to get bitten by her because you was horny. Think about that, y'all. If we ever get into an apocalypse, the most horny people in my group, you got to go find your own or you're getting off. I'm just letting y'all know that now because you will not be jeopardizing me for some coons, bro. I'm sorry. Not, not sorry. Not please, just leave me. Please go. What if you turn and come after us? Okay, we'll leave. Okay, we'll leave. Just... Try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. You're about to be satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. No, you're going to hell. Back up, please! Oh! Whoa! Oh! Why does he get up like that? Man's leg is really hurt. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. Don't shoot us. Yeah. Shoot just... Oh, yeah, yeah. Do, yeah, yeah. Shoot yourself. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax yeah. Now. You need to think this through. Yeah. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. Better her than me. Sorry. Better her than me. Better her than me. Ugh. You've seen people get killed. What are you throwing up about? You've seen this before. Is it because you wanted to enter that? Enter in that uh, that hole? That you're upset? Dang, she attracted mad at them over here. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but... Glenn is fine and well yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Well, we got the the, the axe, so we're good. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Yo, Duck, I'm not gonna lie, Duck, you might, you, yeah, you, yeah. I'm gonna go back inside of here. Where's the door at? Where's the door? Was it over here? I don't care about her father. There we go. All right. I did it again. Yeah, that was worth a shot. Keys it is, I guess. But where would the keys be, though? This family. Damn. Find anything? Whoa, where'd you come from? A photo of the family that owned the place. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. 
You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This uh, is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE. Life? I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Wow. Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Uh... The world has ended out there. Who yeah. cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Carly will remember you trusted her. Alright, so we can't open a thing like that. So we Why gotta come out. Into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah. You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Just be honest, Lee. No, he wasn't. Oh, was he bad? Be honest. He was. Yes, he was. He entered inside of my wife, so he had to go. All right, uh... What else do we do in here? I really don't remember this too well. We never talked to this guy right here. Let's talk to homeboy. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. All right. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Jesus. Yo, this is crazy. Just imagine this. Just eat. As far as I can tell, I'm not terrible. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted. Some of them don't even have jaws, bro. I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Or you could just be like Raccoon City and, and uh. Off the place. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? Be honest. I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Uh. Okay. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? <laughs> well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. I mean, he, yeah, he is a nerd. He is a nerd. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. They're not really too... Not they don't really care about it that much, though. Uh, we got to break out. Awesome. Now to 
extract those things carefully. All right, let's go. This is about to be crazy. Oh, brick. A perfectly break placed brick for my convenience. Imagine he missed. Now's the time. All right, let's go. Be careful. All right. Keep an eye out, will you? His brother. Damn, he looked just like him. Definitely his brother. Thumbnail. What happened to mom and dad? But if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah, I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? He has a bullet in his head, so he probably turned first. Um. Sorry, yeah, get your last but condolences out. This is your family, bro. Oh, I don't want to do this, but we have to. We got to get the keys. Hit him again. I'm sorry if any of my family is watching this. Um, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think an apocalypse like this would happen. But hypothetically speaking, if this did happen. All of y'all are getting taken out. All of y'all are getting taken out except for my mom. I don't care. My mother had the keys on her. The whatever that I needed what was on her. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Someone else would have to do it. And then I would have to take that person out for hurting my mom. I'm just and my dad. My mom, dad has already passed away. You know, RIP. But I'm just sorry. Like, you know, that just being honest. Just be now. Nah, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> I don't know what I would do in these situations. It's, it's hard to tell because it is not happening. Ooh. God. There we go. Yes, sir. We got Holy it. Crap. Run. Oh. All right, we got to run and get those pills. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Why am I saving this guy anyway, bro? I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Like, why am I saving this dude? He was on Demon Tom as soon as we got in here and I'm saving him. What? Oh, oh no. boy. We gotta hurry. You should have known y'all had a security system. This is your family's pharmacy. You couldn't deactivate that? Come on, man. I think in the heat of the moment, he probably just forgot. So I'm gonna cut him a little slack, but still, dog. 
Come on, dog. Something. Lee, do do, do, do whatever y'all gotta do. What's going truck. on? Go. They act like we not about to get bombarded. Bombarded. Have I ever used that word before? Bombarded. All right, we're gonna help with the door. Do we help with the door? Okay. Shut up. Shut up, Doug. He said the same thing as me. Shut up, Doug. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Yeah. Oh, on it. Are you sure? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, then. Give it time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. No. Did you find anything? Nothing. Oh, wait. The window is screwed. Go. No. 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 I found something. Yes. Thank you. in the first place save the girl with the gun i'm sorry doug i know you didn't help me get the keys you but you didn't did the thing with the remote but carly got a gun and she was a way better help than you i'm so sorry we're gonna save carly save carly oh Oh. oh my god. Let's go. We got Doug. Oh hell no. No, no, not my little one. Not my little one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got a dip. What in the entire fuck? I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. See, this is why we should have let him die. We should have let him die. I thought the episode was over. Put my headphones back on. This is why we should have let this old fart die, bro. Because what? Where's the old dude at? No, we're immediately going to him. Hey, go ahead. I think I need to go. To Atlanta. 
Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. What are you going to do? Nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I got to take my chances. Go. Go to your death. L listen, bye. Lily, why are you looking at me? Where your dad at? Where your dad at? Bring him out, bring him out. I think that's the wrong call. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Why are you still looking up there? She's dead. There's plenty of fish in the city. You could have tried to come at Lily. You could have tried to get Lily or Carly. Come on, bro. You you still thinking about a, a, a girl who was bitten, who offed herself? Bye, bro. Dip. We don't need you in the group anyway. You could have been a real problem later on. Bye. We don't need you, bro. Neither did Carly. All right. I don't want to talk to no one else. I don't want to talk to no one else Let's besides the father. Back. Thanks Where is Larry? Care. Lenny, no whatever his name was, bro. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, but Ken. Yeah. Respect that, Brady. What about Duck? How's Duck doing? I don't really care, but uh, what's Clementine at? Where's Larry? Where's Lenny? Where Larry? What's his name? Larry? Carly. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Why didn't you tell him that? Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. <laughs> I understand. In these type of times... Lee? Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. <laughs> you had a gun! I needed that. I thought you needed the help. I was going to help you both. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. You had the gun, ma'am. <laughs> I just wish we both could have made it. You know? If that would have been an option, you best believe I would have said that. I would have said you had the gun. So why not? We need that. We need that ammo. Yeah. Where's Larry? Bro? I don't want to talk to the kids. Oh yeah. Oh no yeah. Way. He wasn't. Oh, and then Hey Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. What's he even over here yapping about? Shut up, dog. I'm sorry. Dude. Aren't you I bit? Got a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Ah. Uh... I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Being sad does not mean you can't be tough, Clem. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. No. Oh, Let yeah. Matter of fact, yes. Yeah, go over there for oh, a little sad. second. Go up there for a little second. What do you want? Like my daughter. What? Her dad tried to kill me. Yeah, yeah she. She's great. No, well, but not stay you. the fuck away from her. Or what? Or uh. Oh. Everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer, and you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I'll tell him myself. I know who you are, and I don't give a shit about what Thumbnail. happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you. You watch your ass. Meanwhile, this is the same dude that wanted to off a kid 
before we could even confirm if, the, if he had a bite. Now all of a sudden you clear up, you care about Clementine, dog. All right, we're just gonna leave it at that. We're gonna leave it at that. Do you have a second? Yeah, I do. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. And everything just cut off. Wow. To be continued. Huh. All right, y'all. Next time on The Walking Dead. Oh, right, this one I thought it was over. Let's see. Let's hear. I'm not putting these headphones back on. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. Oh, nah. We got we people pulling up to the camp. Saving duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Next episode about to be active. Oh yeah! All right, you went all right. Lied to Herschel. You went forty six percent of players lied. I tried not to lie. You went thirty percent of players chose Duck. I knew I should have chose Sean, bro. You went fifty four percent of players defended Kenny. You went fifty two percent of players refused the gun. Gave Irene the gun. Yeah. You want 48% of players chose Carly. I'm sorry, y'all, but I'm gonna choose the person with the arsenal. She had guns, bro. Like she had, a, well, not guns, but she had. But then again, I, I guess you could just let her die and take the gun and go through her purse and take the ammo, but that's kind of, listen, in these times, there is no right or wrong answer. There's really not. But all right, guys. That is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I did. That was a crazy sequence of events from start to finish, man. Like I said, I played this game before, but it's good to go down memory lane considering I haven't played this game in years. I only did one playthrough. Yeah, I only did one playthrough. And I don't remember too much, but yo. Wow. Still great of a game it holds up to this day i hope the left for death franchise can come back i do know that telltale they did this span as a group but they ended up coming back i don't know what they got in store for us but um i'm waiting it came back that was confirmed you can look it up so they're a group again but we don't know what they got in store i don't know if it's gonna be anything this year or next year but we got some stuff coming up and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna deliver but all right, guys, this is LSG Melly. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, turn notification bell on so you can see when I drop part two or chapter two of this gameplay. And I'm signing out. See you guys in my next video. Peace.